So new cream from Nivea? Let's check it out. Stay tuned. Hello guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian, coming to you from my shake den. So today, I was at my local Walmart, my local big box store, Supercenter, and I was walking through the, uh, you know, perusing the shaving area, and I, which I do from time to time, I just look to see if there's anything new there, and I just came across this, which is by Nivea. I'm not sure when this came out. It might be out for... It might have been out for a few months, I'm not sure, but I just first time I ever saw it today at Walmart. But this is the Nivea uh, Calming, I believe it's called uh, Sensitive Calm Liquid Shaving Cream. So this comes in a little pump bottle here. And it is made and rinsed with um, hemp seed oil and also vitamin E. So seems to be great stuff. Um, I'm gonna check it out and see if it actually works. I'm gonna be using this on the brush and from reading on the back, it says that you can, it says gently massage onto wet face and proceed to shave with either a brush or, uh, or with water. So I believe you can either use one, one or the other, brush or just your hands. So on the back, I'm gonna go ahead and read it. It says a little bit about the cream. So what it says is that on the back, the first thing it says is, does your face feel dry and tired? Don't let, a health, don't let a busy lifestyle affect your skin. This new liquid shaving experience delivers a comfortable shave for visibly healthier looking skin. Uh, protects your skin from shaving irritation, softens hair for an effortless razor glide, and also lathers up by rubbing with brush or water, which I just said. So, I wanna say this is pretty equal to what I think this is going in the same direction that Gillette went into when, when they made their pure products, their pure shaving cream, and also, you know, uh, you know, their natural stuff that just came out recently. So this is like their, this is like Nivea's answer to that. So this is actually made by 90, I think, I believe 97, it's a 97% uh, recyclable bottle here. So it's also helping the environment. And yeah, like, like I said, this is like their answer to going green and also pr producing some shaving products for wet shavers out there. So hey guys, go try it out. It's got the cannabis, cannabis leaf right there. So it does have hemp seed oil, so. But it's saying it's all natural and the ingredient list is really, it's pretty minimal. So let's give it a shot, let's check it out. So I'll be using this cream, this for my shave, I'll be using this with my Leo Forlet brush with a tuxedo knot here. This is my little short chubby uh, custom brush by Leo Forlet. And this is my brush uh, in remembrance of my father, my late father. So very dear brush to me. I use this thing with time and time to do, you know, do shaves with it. It's a great shaving brush. Uh, knot is 24 millimeter tuxedo synthetic and just a great all around brush. So I'll be using that. So normally for this shave, I'll be, I would be using my 34C um, by Mucure razor for any new soaps or creams just to get an idea on how well they perform uh, first time use. But I'm gonna be keeping this to uh, products you can get locally around here, besides a brush. But these products I have in this video are things you can get locally at your local uh, brick and mortar stores. And I used this before. So this is the Shavely's Stay Sharp Safety Razor from from Dollar General, so these are available for seven bucks at your local Dollar General. And I used this before, I did a review, review video on this. Um, look, in, look in my links below, I'll, I'll link it to, to this uh, video. But I actually enjoy using this razor. I've used it probably a handful of times. I still put it in the, in the little case it came in, just for, I don't know. I just like this little case for some reason, but I put it, I put it back in the case. But this is a turn to open. Safety razor, much like the uh, Vanderhagen or Micro Touch One, but with a longer handle and maybe a little bit tiny, a bit more aggressive than those razors are.
but very smooth. I was very surprised with this razor. So I'll be using this for my shave with this new cream by Nivea. And I'm gonna be using the trusty Gillette Wilkinson Sword Blade, which is the, the saloon, the, yeah, the saloon pack. I think I, th I think I keep saying salon, but it's really saloon pack. So these are, these are from India, great blades. And the blade will be a second time use blade in this razor. So be using it for my shave. Got about a day, a half worth of growth in my face. Yep, ready for a shave. So anyway guys, just let me go and wash my face, get my face fully hydrated and soften the hairs and I will be right back. All right guys, I'm back. Got my face fully hydrated and, and washed, ready for a shave. I didn't take a shower, but I did, I did the hot towel method off camera. So it is pretty soft, my facial hair is. So I'm gonna be going right onto the brush. So I'll, be, I'll probably do a face lather right with the brush. So let me go ahead and shake this water off here, the excess water. And I'm just gonna put this, since this is like a, uh, a pump bottle there, let's put one good size dollop in there so you guys can see it. So that's one pump, right about an almond size. So let's try and see how this thing lathers up. And this is my first time using this stuff. And right off the bat, nice lather. And this is a liquid shaving cream, so. Hence so the description on the bottle. And so far, pretty impressed with the lather. For that little bit of amount, it's making a great lather so far. The scent is very faint. I want to say the scent strength is probably about a, a three, but how I would describe it is probably like a, kind of a, I would say maybe a lavender, yeah, like a lavender type scent, very calming. I know it's plant-based, so maybe a lavender, maybe a floral type scent. It's actually smells like a real faint uh, men's cologne, if that makes any sense. A real faint men's cologne. But it smells clean, very nice and clean scent to it. But look at that lather. This is from that one dollop I just put in the brush. But look at that lather. So far I'm impressed with the lather from that one pump of this cream stuff here. Yeah, I can keep looking at the bottle and see what, what I'm actually using. So sensitive, calm, liquid shaving cream. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the lather. Look at that. So thick lather right off the bat. So definitely pretty exceptional in that, in that regard. So you guys, let me go ahead and use this Shafely safety razor with the Wilkinson sword blade. Go ahead and try this out. And by the way, this is a turn to open safety razor, so very much like the the Weishis or the Vanderhagen uh, safety razor razors out there. Wow, very slick. Yeah, the first pass, I mean, down my cheeks, very incredibly slick, so I'm pretty impressed so far. I think normally I would get some kind of tug with this razor, even with a good blade, with one of my other soaps, but this is really slick, though. I'm really, really surprised. This actually reminds me of the Kiss My Face, those shaving creams you see at the, those health food stores like, you know, like Whole Foods, uh, very similar. But man, this performance, this slickness in the lather is, I think a little bit better, at least right now.
Yeah, cushion is nice. Nice thick cushion. The leather is just hanging around. It's not evaporating or getting dry. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, the scent is fleeting, so it's strong as you put on your face, but but it doesn't last very long. But clean and fresh scent, not that, it's not a very strong scent, so. So very fleeting. I mean, you catch it right when you start lathering your face with the brush, but that's what, it's only for like five seconds and then, then it's gone. But still pleasant, pleasant shave. I am impressed with this, with this razor and also with this cream. This stuff is a real deal so far. So one pass and very, very satisfied with the shave so far. So anyway, guys, no nicks, uh, pretty thick lather, nice glide, nice cushion. So you couldn't ask for anything more for a cream. So let me go ahead and rinse my face, guys, and I will be back for the second pass. All right, guys, back for my second pass, my second face out of there. And look at all the lather left on the brush here. So this is from actually one face out of there. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's see how it holds up for two more passes. So this is really supposed to be for people with sensitive skin. So I imagine they put a lot of nice stuff in, you know, extra vitamin E. And the hemp seed oil does probably help out with the slickness of this, of this cream. Because as I showed you for the first pass, it was, for me, it felt great. Yeah, plenty of lather. Look at that. I'm just painting it on. I'm just painting this on. I'm not, I'm not even doing a face lather and there's lather exploding from the brush. So pretty, pretty impressed. I think I like this stuff better than, than the Gillette Pure so far or the Planet Kind from Gillette, which is a nice cream also. All right, second pass against, well, actually across the grain this time. Yeah, really, really slick. So I hope you guys are doing well. Today is Saturday. Today is February 5th. So we're actually in February, which is crazy, of 2022. And today, actually the last two days, it's been really warm in Florida. I think the high today was like 85 or, in, you know, mid 80s. But tonight it's supposed to get colder. So it's the thing about Florida weather. We get, we just went through a cold front last week, which it got down in the 40s and even some nights got down in the 30s, and now we're going up to the mid 80s or early 80s with a low of 60 now, and we're getting getting ready to go back to another cold front. Back, I think the high next week or this coming Monday is going to be 50s. So kind of crazy. The weather here in Florida is really crazy. I kind of joke that we don't have an actual winter. We have we have spring, summer. And fall. Actually, we have four seasons. We have spring, summer, fall, and pollen season. <laughs> so that's the next season coming up is when all the trees start producing all this yellow film all over the cars and in the air to where you'll be choking up pollen, nose be runny, be coughing and sneezing. I remember last. You know, during the pandemic last year, you know, I was suffering bad from the pollen and going into different stores. I, you know, I had a mask on and, you know, coughing and sneezing. I mean, you know, coughing and sneezing because of the pollen. But, you know, you see people like all of a sudden it's like, you know, turn around and look at you like, you know, get away from me. <laughs> but, you know, you got to tell them, hey, it's my allergy. Sorry. Yeah, very nice cream. I am impressed. Going, going into the gills right here. Yeah, that shade was flawless. So, so far.
No nicks. Plenty of cushion for the razor here. And surprisingly a smooth shape so far. All right guys, that's the second pass and it was across the grain and very nice shapes with the with the uh, with the sensitive, you know, sensitive cream by Nivea, sensitive calm cream. So anyway guys, let me go ahead and rinse my face and I'll be back for that against the grain money pass. Stay tuned. All right guys, back to my last pass here and I'm gonna be do, doing another little face out of here. Plenty of cream left on the brush, that's for sure. So hope you guys are staying safe from all the blizzards up, up north, all the cold weather. All my white shaving brothers up north, hope you guys are staying safe and staying warm from all the cold weather up there. I got family, my mom lives up in New York, in Queens, and she tells me how cold it is up there, so I know I get the impression how cold it is up there because she's complaining about it. But man, look at that nice lather. So this is like the third, this will be the third pass, and there's plenty of lather coming off the brush. Look at that, just exploding off this synthetic brush right here. All right, so let's go do that against the grain pass, the money pass here. This will probably be great with a straight razor, which I almost thought about using for the shade, but I wanted to try these blades out too and this razor and keep it, you know, keep it with stuff, you know, keep it with stuff you can get around the community. So other than the brush and the blades, this razor is seven bucks from Dollar General, from your local Dollar General, so really great deal. Yeah, this stuff is nice, very slick. Man, this is like, very slick, you don't even, you don't even need to appreciate with this cream. Yeah, no tuck in the razor. All right. I'm loving the shave. Loving this cream. Yeah, it almost smells a little bit like aloe, too. The scent. A little bit. It's very fleeting, but... Nice and clean, but it has that aloe lavender type scent to it. If I can, if I can compare it to anything, it actually smells like a real mild scent compared, kind of like the uh, Nivea Sensitive Shaving Balm, Aftershave Balm. Very similar scent to that to that bomb. So this would probably pair up nicely with that bomb. All right, guys, that's the shave. Very satisfied with the shave. Very, very, very surprised about the cream. This stuff is pretty, pretty decent. I don't know how long it's been out. I think I looked on Badger and Blade, a different. You know, I looked on different forms on there, and I believe it came out last this past year in August. If I'm not mistaken, so this, you know, it's been out at least for a few months. But first time I've seen it at Walmart this this week, and I, I go to Walmart at least every other week, and I look for stuff, and I and I walked by today and saw this, and I said, what the heck, you know, heck it, I'm gonna try it out, and very impressed. So nice stuff, great Nivea product here. So don't. If you see this, guys, grab it on the shelf. This stuff is very, very nice. And I think I paid like $3.47 for this, for this bottle. 
So it was on sale at Walmart, $3.47 for a good quality cream from what I've seen here. And it's uh, 6.8 fluid ounces. So 6.8 fluid ounces of superb performing cream, which will probably last you for a while because I've only got one pump and I got this shave from there. And I, I'm sure I can do probably about two more passes with, with the amount of lather left on this brush right here. Yeah, so definitely great stuff. All right, guys, let me go ahead and rinse my face, and I'll be back for the post-shave. All right, guys, back for my post-shave. So I'll be using the Nivea Men's Soothing Sensitive Shave Balm, after shave Balm. So this is a great stuff. This has been around forever, and one of my favorite post-shave balms out there. It's, and you can get this locally anywhere, too, also. All right, put a little bit in the, in the hand right there. That should be a good amount. Very nice. I love the way this, this balm feels on my face. Very refreshing, not really heavy, and not drying either, so it doesn't dry your face out like other, other post-shaving post products do, like the alcohol splashes and you know other shave balms. This is, this is great stuff. And the scent, yeah, the scent of the, of this stuff right here, the Nivea Men's uh, Sensitive, Sensitive Calm Shaving Cream, sm smells similar to this, but not exactly. It's hard to explain. If you, if you can say, it smells as clean as this, but maybe with a little bit more lavender added to it, maybe a little bit lavender and aloe. That's what the scent smells like, but it's not as strong as the, as the, as the after shave balm. But it's very fleeting, but very, very enjoyable. So guys, that's my shave. I used the Shavely Dollar General Safety Razor from Dollar General for $7. You, you can't find a better razor locally for that price. And really, really anywhere. This is a great safety razor for a beginner. And I highly recommend this for anybody wanting to break into wet shaving that wants to get something locally. Great razor. I used the Gillette Wilkinson Sword. The Saloon Pack Blade, second use in that razor. Great blade, very economical. I wanna say ten anywhere from eight to $10 for a 100 pack of blades on Amazon. So these blades are very smooth, nice, uh, nicely sharp. Get about three shaves off these blades. Very, 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 very nice blades. Very good blades. And I use my Leo Forlette Custom Brush with a synthetic, synthetic knot. The tuxedo knot there, very, very nice brush. And last but not least, the cream again. So, very impressed. I love this, I love the way it performed. And I think, I'm, I, think I love this even more than the Gillette Pure or the Planet Kind cream from Gillette, which is pretty surprisingly, because I love those two products too, but man, this is actually better. So, 347, you can't beat the price. And normally, and also, I looked in the back, uh, it's a, Nivea is a German company, but this is actually made in Poland. So I don't know if they had this in the European market for a little while before they came over to the States, but from Poland, usually their stuff is from made in Mexico or, or Germany. I believe this is made in Mexico. And great stuff, but this is made in Poland, so I wanna say they probably, I, wanna, I don't know if you guys can leave a comment, all my brothers and sisters out there, way shaving across the pond in Europe, if this was released over there in Europe first, or it's been around for a while, but man, this is great stuff. Very good performing liquid shaving cream. Uh, this is great for a brush. I haven't tried it with my hands yet, but man, this thing lathers great with a brush. So, very impressed, guys. Anyway, guys, that's my shave. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you like, subscribe, and I will be doing more product reviews as I see fit, as I see, you know, out and about, uh, either online grabbing stuff or in stores and stuff like this. And I hope you guys have a good weekend. Hope you guys enjoy your shaves. Hope you guys stay safe. Take care.